Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Buddy Blackford, and you're listening to another Adobe After Effects CS6 tutorial, and this is for the new Boston. So this time around, we're going to be learning about rotation and animating rotation. It's uh, pretty simple, and there's a few ways to do it, so let's get on with the tutorial. All right, the first and easiest way to uh, rotate is to use the uh, twirl down menu in the transformation menu down here in your layers in your timeline panel and that's the most precise and easiest way so the way you get can get down to it is twirl down your transform menu to the rotation section or press R there you go R so that's easy enough um, you've got your degrees here how much you want to rotate so I can type it in 90 and it'll rotate 90 degrees you can drag and it'll go around like this obviously and of course you can hold shift and drag and it'll go faster um, let's put these back at zero real quick now if you rotate past 360 here it'll you, you can see that it t turned uh, this this side over here turned to 1x that means one time that means you turned it around in a circle one time you can also edit that value and say three times so if you're just rotating without any keyframes that really doesn't matter but if you're animating let's animate it real quick and let's just rotate this two times you can see it rotates in a full circle 360 degrees twice there you go if you hold down control and you scrub it gives you a little bit finer control not as fast as you can see this is holding down control right here if I let go of control right now you can see it goes faster holding shift makes it go super fast so there that's the uh, control for this little scrubber here and turn off my keyframes and I'm going to set this back to zero so we can start fresh another way is to use the tool panels up here and the rotation uh, the rotation tool up here. You can click on it or oh great. Stupid video game updated. Got my way. Yes, I like to play this uh plane fighting video game every once in a while and it updates. It's actually not a stupid game, it's actually pretty cool. But back to the tutorial. You can use the uh, rotation tool up here it's not super precise but you can you can get to a general area and then if you really need to uh, um, if you really need to uh, tune it you can tune it down here in the rotation in your timeline panel if you hold shift when you're rotating it'll snap to the nearest 90 degree angle see that which is nice the hotkey for rotation is W and um, I guess the way to remember it is kind of stupid but wotate so W for wotate it's very dumb but it's the easiest thing I can remember and it's kinda kinda funny but so if you have your press in W you can rotate so let's go back and I'm gonna go back to the arrow selection tool by pressing V. Now if you hold W you can quickly go to your rotate and then when you let go of it it will switch back to the um, uh, selection tool. So <clears throat> just like with the zoom oops not just like with the zoom so if you hold Z it'll quickly s switch to the zoom if you hold W it'll quickly switch to the rotation etc <clears throat> now if you would like to 
increase uh, rotation by increments of one, you can press the plus. Oh, have your layer selected and press the plus key and it will rotate by increments of one. And press the minus key to go back. If you hold shift, it'll increase in increments of 10. As you can see down here, I kind of had my mouse over it a little bit, but at increments of 10 right now, and then that's holding shift and pressing while the layer is selected, pressing the plus will do it and minus will do it by one. If you mess up and get really out there with your rotations and it's been a while and you can't do any more undos, the quickest way to reset is to double click your rotation tool and it will go back to zero down here. So we'll do that again. Uh, set it at some random rotation there. Go up to the tools panel up here and double click the rotation tool. It goes back to zero and resets itself. That's about it for the rotation tool. As I said before, it's a pretty easy tool. Um, pretty much all these transform tools are pretty basic and easy to remember and you'll use them most often more than most tools so it's good to get a, a good handle on them and just make sure you remember your hotkeys and you'll be able to work quickly and efficiently so hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial make sure you, you either leave a comment or like it or subscribe because there's a lot more tutorials to come so Everybody have a good day. See you later.